props for you to have near you, blankets, things like that. Grab them now and I will get you to start in child's pose. So let's come into child's pose. So come into an active child's pose. So you're tucking your toes and you're taking your bum back and you're walking your hands forward. So your bum is slightly lifted. If that's too intense on your feet or ankles, you also can untuck the toes. And rest your forehead here on the mat. And allow your hips here to settle, your tailbone here to settle. And let's just start by taking those few deeper breaths. A big deep breath in here through your nose. Expand the breath into every corner of your belly and as you exhale, really fully exhale out. Inhale deeply. And exhale slowly. Really allow your perspective to shift to your feet, your feet and your legs. And as we move through this practice, in every familiar pose, allow the awareness to even be more on the feet than the legs. Allow yourself in to drop into that sensation of grounding and the sensation of feeling at home here in your body. So again, take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Slowly lift yourself up. Untap the toes. Sit back onto your heels. Now squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Really try to puff your chest up. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And slowly come onto all fours with your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes again. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees get underneath your hips. Begin to connect to your core, so your belly, so your hip points, your points get towards each other. Lift your pelvic floor here on your inhale. Lift your knees here off the mat and just gently let them hover off the mat. So you're not lifting your knees very high. Stay connected to your belly. Focus on really bringing the feet into your legs. Take one more breath here. And then slowly double all the way back down. Again, one breath here. And then again, inhale, lift your knees and come off the mat. Root down through your hands, your hip points, your hip points towards each other, knees hover above the mat. Keep your belly here nice and engaged. Stay focused on the breath. And then slowly down with the knees back down. Let's just do that one more time. Inhale, lift the knees, let them come off the mat. Root down through your hands, stay connected to your belly. So really firing up your core, your legs, also your arms. And slowly down the knees back down. Untuck the toes, sit back onto your heels again, squeeze your shoulder blades towards you. Can really try to puff your chest up, take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And slowly lift yourself up, come to sit. Take your right fingertips now behind you. Take your left arm up and over, lift your hips up. Exhale, slowly lower all the way back down. And keep switching sides here. Keep the lift from up. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Last one on this side. Inhale. And then exhale. Come back to all fours. Tuck your toes, bring your knees together, and sit back onto your heels. Catch your toes here, see if you can spread them out, and just get every single toe here to touch the mat. So you're really working into the meridians of your feet here. Then inhale, float your arms up. Bend your elbows, place your right forearm here on top. 
Press your elbows against your hands, hands against your elbows. And see if you can draw your arms here behind your feet. And then exhale slowly release. And switch to crossing on your arms. Get your left forearm on top. Inhale. Exhale release. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. There's two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Then untuck the toes. Sit back onto your heels. And then catch your right knee with your right hand. You can slide the fingers underneath the right knee. Left fingertips are beside you. And let's try and lift your right knee up on the mat. So you're stretching the front of your right ankle. And then lower your right knee back down. The right fingertips beside you. Take your left knee in your left hand and try and feed your left knee towards your chest. Take one more breath here. And then slowly lower your knee back down. Place the hands on the floor, tuck the toes, lift them, sit bones, lift your tailbone, come into downward facing dog. And here, so the pad out your feet here, walk the legs out on the spot. Then the knees really gently sway your hips here side to side, allowing your head and neck here to feel the press here through the heels of your hands, the bases of your fingers, really try to find out the creases that may feel um, tight in the back of your body. Go ahead, drop your neck. And then walk your hands back towards your feet, coming to a forward fold here at the back of your mat. Keep your feet in a distance apart, lift the toes, spread your toes, and then drop them back down. So you can send the crown of your head here to the floor, lift your kneecaps up, roll the inner thighs back, so supercharge your legs here, hollow out your belly. Let's see if you can send the crown of your head here to the floor. Take one more breath here. And then walk your hands here forwards. Come back to downward facing dog. That nice strong downward facing dog. Create space here through all sides of your body. Head and neck are heavy. Lift the kneecaps up, roll the inner thighs back. Take one more breath here. And then bend your knees and press back to child's pose. So take your bum here back towards your heels. Sit bones heavy, tailbone heavy. Just take a few breaths here. And again, notice the grounding of your forehead, the grounding of your legs. Allow yourself to feel slightly heavy. So allow yourself to take the support here from the floor and from the earth only. And inhale, slowly come up. Lift yourself up, come to sit. You can come cross-legged here if, that's, if this is too much for your knees or ankles. Keep your feet nice and straight and try to have the heels that land directly on top of your um, Let them sit right down directly on top of your heels. And place your hands here into the lowest part of the ribcage and really hold your ribcage here in your hands. A lower breath to expand into your hands, using the ujjayi breath to really expel any sort of stale energy here that's stuck in your body. Now exhale everything naturally out right now. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hop. And inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hop. And slightly higher up your rib cage. You're going to inhale one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale four, 
three, two, one, all. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, all. And hands on your chest again. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. One hand on your chest, one hand on your belly again. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Now switch your hands here around and inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale. Four, three. Two, one, up. Okay, so your hands on the lap and then inhale. One, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Last one, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Then release. Softly open your eyes and look at the floor in front of you. Now we'll place the hands, tuck the toes, and press back to downward facing dog. So come into your downward facing dog again, create space in for all sides of your body, draw so hip points or points feet towards each other. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, slowly step here towards your hands. Come to the top of your mat, inhale, lift legs and look forward, just come halfway up, exhale, fold. Now lift your toes, spread your toes, press the four corners of your feet into the mat, then drop your toes all the way back down again. Root down through the four corners of your feet, press the floor away, bring yourself in the all the way up to stand. Reach your arms here all the way up, exhale, draw it back into your heart. And then release your hands. So really drop the shoulders. Take a natural breath. Notice the ground of your feet here. Relax your shoulders. We're coming into our sun salutations. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, slowly fold. Inhale, lift legs and look forward. Draw your belly in. Place your hands and step back to plank pose. Bring your shoulders get over your wrists. Let your tummy feel slightly heavy. Your hip points, rib points get towards each other. Breathe down through your hands. Now bend your knees. Let your knees hover above the mat. Connect to your belly. Keep the toes tucked. And then lower the knees all the way down here. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your sit bones. Bring that cow, uh, cow pose here. Exhale, gently round on the tip. Inhale, lift, lift the chest, lift your sit bones. Exhale, turning round. Let's do three more. Inhale, gently exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Now again, look, root down through your hands. Come uh, with the toes tucked, 
and lifting the knees of the mat, coming through plank or lower down all the way to the floor. Land on your belly, untuck your toes here. Inhale, lift them up, cobra. Draw the shoulder blades out your back, feed your chest here through your arms, press your pubic bone against the mat. Exhale, slowly lower down. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, exhale. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Now press the full away, come back to child's pose. Run back towards your knees. Inhale, round the spine, bring the cat stretch, tuck your toes, and press back to your downward facing dog. Exhale. Then create the space here for all sides of your body. Focus on your legs, focus on your feet. Really keep your legs engaged. So lifting the knee cut up. Really making space for all sides of your body. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then inhale, look between your hands. Slowly step here towards your hands. Inhale, let them look forward. Exhale, fold. Now keep your feet hip distance apart. Keep your feet square, keep your hips square. Walk your hands to the left. You're stretching into your right side body. Keep your feet and hips nice and square. Take one breath here. And walk your hands here from the center over to the other side. So again, keep your feet and your hips here square. Take one breath here. And so you walk your hands back into the center. Root down through your feet. Press the floor and bring yourself up to center. Reach up, maybe look up. Exhale, drag right back into your heart and release your hands. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the legs and look forward. Place the hands again, come back to plank. Shoulders over your wrists, tailbone slightly heavy. Root down through your hands, stay connected to your belly. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale, charge to under. Inhale, up to go cobra. Exhale, down the facing dog. Again, creating a space for all sides of your body. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Keep the hips square, supercharge your right leg. We're getting this familiar pose, and I'm just a ground for left foot. And really engage both legs here. And then exhale, slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest, rounding the spine of the knee to nose. Set the right foot here between your hands, drop your left knee down. Fold the mat in if you need to pad out your left knee. Inhale, float your arms up. Gently feed your hips here forward. Point your tailbone now, really try to lift your chest up. Relax your shoulders here slightly. Gently lean forward, but you're not pressing into the lower back. Inhale. Then exhale, take both hands on the inside of your right foot. You can stay here on your hands, or you can start to walk your hands forward. Then drop it into the hips just a little bit more. Ground down through your right foot and keep the left toes on top. If that's awkward for your knee, you can tuck the left foot. And then slowly walk the hands back. Lengthen out your right leg. Press the heel down, draw the toes up. See if you can set the crown of your head here towards your right foot. Square your hips here. So try to actively feed your left hip forward and draw your right hip back. Now take both hands to the outside of your right foot. Fold your nose, pass the outside of your right knee. Take one breath in. And then place your left hand on the inside of your right leg and reach your right arm all the way up. And reach into the right fingertips, press the right heel down, but lift the right toes up and then tuck the back toes, bend your right knee and lift your left knee off the mat. And bring it to the easy twist. Inhale here and exhale here. Lower your right hand down. Step back to plank or straight into down dog. Inhale, exhale, charge your right hand. Inhale, up to walk over. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then inhale, raise your left leg high. So lift up your left leg, point to the toes, draw your ribs here towards each other, root down through your hands, and supercharge both legs. Be really aware of your legs here. 
Then exhale slowly from your left knee into a short chest. Round your spine, your knees to first, and slowly set your left foot between your hands. You can drop the back knee down. You always fold your mat in here. Inhale, float your arms up. Gently feed your hips here forwards. Point your tailbone down. Lift your chest. Relax your shoulders here. So you press the back. The toes into the mat, either tucking the toes or keeping the toes on top. Inhale, then exhale, take both hands to the inside of your left leg. And again, you can stay here on your hands if this is your edge, or walk your hands here forward. Maybe even popping up to the fingertips. Just try and sink into the hips a little bit more. Inhale here, and exhale here. And then walk your hands here back. Lengthen your left leg. Press in your mouth, draw the toes up. You might need to wiggle your left foot a little bit further forward. And see if you can set the crown of your head here towards your left foot. Actively pressing your left heel down and draw your toes up. Inhale here. And exhale here. You will take both hands to the outside of your left leg. Again, fold in your body with your nose. Pass the outer of your left knee. Inhale here. Exhale here. When coming into those easy twists, place your right hand on the inside of your left leg. Reach your left arm up. Then reach into the left fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale here. And then plug your left foot down. Tuck the back toes. Lift your right knee here off the mat. Again, reach into the left fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale. And lower both hands down. Step back to plank or straight into down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Charge or under. Inhale. Up dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. And take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Then inhale, lower between your hands. Exhale, step or maybe float here towards your hands. Inhale, look length and look forward. Exhale, fold. Now separate your feet, if they're too close together, and hook the big toes here with your middle and the index finger. Press the big toes onto your fingers, heels into the mat, and slowly feed your belly and your chest here closer to your legs. Hollow out your belly, and feed the belly and the chest closer to the legs, supercharge your legs. See if you can send the crown of your head here towards the floor. Release your toes and press the floor away. Slowly bring yourself here up to stand. Reach up, look up. Exhale, drop it back into your heart and release your hands. So drop the shoulders. Take a natural breath. And really go to sit by your four feet here. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and look forward. Place the hands and step back to plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, charge the program. Inhale, up to a cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, raise your right leg high. Lift your right leg up, maybe lift your hips slightly. Supercharge your right leg. Keep your belly here in the edge. Then exhale, slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest. Round your spine, knee to nose. Slowly step your right foot between your hands. Now frame your right foot here with your fingertips. And begin to lengthen out your right leg. So it's a, um, a pyramid. You can keep your left heel lifted, sending the crown of your head here towards your right foot. Take one breath here. And then bend your right knee and slowly come into the crescent lunge. Inhale, float your arms up. Root down through the walls of your feet. Lift your lower belly here. Keep your hips square. Relax your shoulders slightly. And then slowly you start to reach back with your arms. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards you. To really try to pop your chest up. Root down through the walls of your feet. And then release the hands. Begin to reach forward with your arms. And slowly lift your left, left foot off the mat. Ground it through your right foot, connect to your belly. Inhale. And then exhale, step your left foot back to where it came from. Inhale, press the lunge. 
And then exhale, come back into that pyramid with your left heel lifted. Fold here over your front leg. Fingertips can land here on the floor. Keep squeezing the inner thighs together. Send a crown of your head here towards your right foot, rooting down through your legs. Then place both hands down. Step back to plank or straight to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to the cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then inhale, raise your left leg high. So then lift your left leg up. Point for the toes. Draw your ribs feet to look each other. Take one breath here, inhale, then exhale, slowly down the spine, knee to those, bring your shoulders over your wrists, step your left foot between your hands. So again, coming into that pyramid, to so lengthen your left leg, keep your right heel lifted, square your hips here, send the crown of your head here towards your left foot. If you need to bend your left knee, you can bend the knee. And then we're down to the middle of your feet. Inhale, come up, press and plunge. Float your arms up, keep the hips nice and square. So really try to sing your waist here. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards you. Really try to puff your chest up. Root down to the middle of your feet. Puff the chest up. And then slowly release the hands. Reach your arms here forwards. Put the weight here into your left foot. And float your right leg up. Again, crouch your standing foot. If you need to bend the knee slightly, bend your knee. And slowly step your right foot back to where you came from. Back to crescent lunge and back to that pyramid. Fold forward, fold here over your left leg. Hands to hand where they need to land. Square the hips again. So if you can back, keep your right heel lifted. One more breath here. And then place both hands down. Step back to the plank or straight to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, charge your Inhale, up to the cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And inhale, look into your hands. Exhale, step or float here towards your hands. Inhale, lift legs and look forward. Exhale, fold. Then root down here through your feet. Press the floor away and bring yourself up to start. Reach up, look up. Exhale, throw it back into your heart and release your hands. So drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and really notice the rubble on your feet. Now, if your feet are separate from each other, bring your feet now together. We're going to come into chair pose. So inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, slowly bend the knees and sit back into this imaginary chair. Really shift up your belly, so touch your cube bone to your belly button. Press the edges of your feet now. If you need to reach your arms forwards, you can here as well. Stay long here through your spine, attach your cube bone to your belly button. Then exhale, slowly fold. Then inhale, lift from halfway up. Place the hands, step or flow back to the height. Then inhale, exhale, charge your under. Inhale, up to walk over. Exhale, downward facing dog. Then inhale, raise your right leg high. Then to a knee point, your toes in behind your back. Reach, squeeze your knee looking towards your sit bone, your knee here towards the ceiling, keep your belly near the edge. Then exhale, swing your right knee in towards your chest. Round your spine, knee to those. Step the right foot here between your hands. And then come into warrior two. So adjust your feet here. Line up the right heel with the arch of your back foot. Press the edge of your feet down. Your upper body is really centered between your feet. And you're peeling the left side of your body open and back. And so you do it. I will land your elbow or lower your right hand down. And reach your left arm up. And create space here between your shoulder blades. Press the edges of your feet down. Nice open chest. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand down, right arm up and over your right ear. Lift your lower belly. 
and inhale, slowly come up. Lengthen out your right leg, move forward and out of your hips. Land your right hand in your shin on the outside of your foot. Then reaching into the fingertips, create a space between your shoulder blades. Keep your belly here engaged. And then lower your left hand down. And again, bring it into a little bit of a pyramid, but this time with the left hip open. So the toes of your left foot is still pointing out to the side. Actively try to feed your left hip forward or your right hip back. Take one more breath here. And then take both hands on the inside of your right leg, right foot, and turn the right toes in. So now bring into that wide leg and pull the fold. Press the edges of your feet down, start to fold. Walk your hands through your legs. You can reverse the fingers very gently pull on the floor here to really open up the arm back and your shoulders. Again, you're supercharging your legs. So familiar pose, focus on your legs. So pull the head, get pull on the head. And then walk your hands here forwards, lift your chest from halfway up. <clears throat> turn your heels in and turn your toes here out. You're going to come into goddess pose. So bend your knees here, lift your chest up. Cactus your arms here, really puff your chest up. Press the edge of your feet down, really try to sink into your hips. Zip up your belly, relax your shoulders here slightly. Take one more breath here. We're going to slowly lengthen the arms of both legs. Place the hands at the top of your mat. Step back to plank or step straight to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, charge on the neck. Inhale, up to your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Then inhale, raise your left leg. So lift up your left leg, bend your knee, bring your toes in behind your back, squeeze your heel towards your sit, open your knee here towards the ceiling. Try to level out the shoulders. Then exhale, slowly draw your left knee in towards your chest, round your spine, step your left foot between your hands for one and two. So grounding through your feet, keeping the right side of your body open and back. Arms or shoulder height, relax your shoulders here slightly. Press the edges of your feet here down. And then move forward, neither landing the elbow, lowering your left hand down, reach your right arm up and create extra space between your shoulder blades, reaching into the fingertips, lift your lower belly here. Press the edges of your feet down. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, reverse words. Right hand down, left arm up and over your left ear. Create space through the left side, body, keep your lower belly lifted. Inhale here, exhale here, and slowly come back to warrior two, and lengthen out your front leg. You'll move forward and out of your hips, land your left hand down, you'll reach your right arm up to the pyramid, or triangle, sorry, triangle pose. Inhale here, exhale here, and then lower your right hand down. So now the pyramid with your open hip. So right toes point to the right. Again, fold here over your left leg, crown your head close towards your left foot. Press the edges of your feet down. And then take both hands on the inside of your left leg. Turn the toes in. Get the big toes to point towards each other. Heels are slightly turned out. You could catch the outer legs and slide the fingers underneath the outer edges of your feet. But focus on the outer edges of your feet. And really try to lift the inner arches of your feet here up. So your head drop from there. And then slowly move your hands in forward. Lift your chest, come halfway up. You're going to turn the heels in and the toes out. Inhale, lift your chest up, bend your knees. You come into this goddess pose. You're going to lift the arms up, cactus your arms. You might need to bring your feet a little bit closer together. Now see if you can lift your heels here off the mat and drop your hips a little bit lower. You need to drop your heels, drop your heels. But see if you can lift the heels, keep sitting tall, zip up your belly. And then inhale here, exhale here. And slowly lower the heels, lengthen out both legs, 
Okay, so hands at the top of your mat. Step back to plank or step straight to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to go cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Then big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, step or float it with your hands. Inhale, lift length and look forward. Exhale, fold. So we're going to come back to chair pose. So keep the big toe mounts here together. Bend your knees and come into chair. Reach your arms and forwards and a nice long spine. Zip up your belly. Hands in prayer in front of your chest. Drop your hips and take your left now back to the outside of your right knee. And lift your chest up towards your thumbs and try to draw your belly really firmly away from your legs. Keep breathing. And inhale, come up for center. Exhale, take it over to the other side. So right hand through the outside of your right knee. And again, keep breathing. And inhale, come up for center. And exhale, release now, stand up. Relax the shoulders, take a natural breath, and really notice the bottom of your feet here. A big deep breath in, nice exhale out. We're going to come into toe stand. You could make you feel really wobbly, so if you at any time you need to drop your feet, you can. Inhale, float your arms up. And lift your heels here off the mat. So we're going to come off the balls of your feet. Now bring the palms of your hands here together, and you're slowly going to bend your knees. And you're going to take your bum point towards your heels, keeping the heels off the mat. Now when you're here, see if you can bring your upper legs parallel to the floor. So the heels towards your bum. Press the balls of your feet down, hands in prayer in front of your chest. Just take one more breath here, it can be really wobbly. Now keeping the heels lifted, bring yourself all the way up to stand, keep lifting the heels, reach your arms here up. And then exhale, keeping the heels lifted, take the arms out wide and you're going to fold, come halfway down. When you've come halfway down, lower your heels and fold over your legs. Take one breath here. And inhale, slowly lift, come halfway up. Place the hands, step back to plank or straight to down with your wrist. Give this transition. Inhale, exhale, charge on them. Inhale, up to go cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then inhale, raise your right leg up. Bend your knee, point your toes behind your back. Squeeze the heel towards your sit bone. Then exhale, take your right knee here towards your right wrist. And slide your left leg all the way back. So coming into pigeon, keep your hips nice and square. So left hip. Forward, right hip back, sink into that right hip. Stay here on your hands or lower down into your elbows. You might want to lower all the way down um, towards the floor with your forehead. Now sink into that right hip and coming into where the base chakra here lives, into the pelvis. And soften the right side. Feel as if your spine is being slowly released from the pelvis. Take one more breath here. And then inhale, slowly come up. Pop yourself up onto your hands. Land on your right sit bone. Just take both legs wide. So coming into straddle, lift yourself up, tuck, take the hands here behind your hips, lift out of your lower back. If you have a little sensation now in your legs, stay here. Or take the hands in front, you can start to walk your hands here forward. Chest forward, top of your head here forward, eventually here, and maybe start to drop your head.
Inhale, slowly come up. Lift yourself up, support the backs of your knees, and come back to downward facing dog. So step back to downward dog. Inhale here, and exhale here. Now, lift your left leg high, bend your knee, point your toes behind your back. And then take your left knee here to your left wrist and slide your right leg here all the way back. So come into pigeon on this side. Right leg forward, left kick back, and then pull up onto the fingertips. You might want to leave your hands on the floor. We'll go down into the pelvis. And chest forward, drop your head here forward, and then soften into that left side. Releasing the left hip, releasing the lower back. Take one more breath here. And then inhale, slowly come up. Land on your left sit bone again, take both legs wide, coming into straddle one more time. Lift the sit bones, take your fingertips here behind your hips. Stay here if there's enough sensation. Lift the leg and inhale. Exhale, slowly fold. So you walk the hands forward. You can walk your hands along the legs. Chest forward, pull your head here forward. Eventually here, drop your head. If you're here, that's more than enough. Try not to worry too much about where you are with your body today. One more breath here. And inhale, slowly come up. Lift yourself up, support the backs of your knees, lift them up, and come and sit with straight legs. So roll the inner thighs now, walk the sit bones back, inhale, float your arms get up, lift your chest up, exhale, fold. And really aware of your legs and your feet here. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fold. Chest forward, drop your head forward. Legs are evenly engaged, feet are nice and square. Eventually, when you feel like you can't move any further forward, that's when you drop. And inhale, slowly come up. And just uh, lean back here with your hands, puff your chest here up, squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other, bend your knees and draw your heels a little bit closer towards your sit bones. You're going to come into reverse tabletop. Squeeze the shoulder blades here towards each other, really try to puff your chest up. And then inhale, lift your hips up, coming to that reverse tabletop. Press your feet down. Squeeze your bum here slightly to lift the hips. Take one more breath in. And then slowly lower down. Now left leg straightens and right knee lands on top of your left knee. Draw your right heel close to your left hip. Make a tight package here with your legs. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, slowly fold. So hold your whole body here over both legs. Again, aware of the back of your left leg. Allow both sit bones to feel grounded. The crown of your head again forward. And try to flush the sensations here through with your breath. Inhale, slowly come up. Lift your right knee up and place your right foot outside of your left knee. Catch your knee now with your left elbow. Right foot outside of your left knee, twist. Maybe take your left arm to the outside of your right leg and over your right shoulder. Again, really feel like you can open and expand your chest here. So you're opening up, drawing the shoulders down, lifting the chest up. And then we'll slowly come out. And lengthen out both legs. You have the option again to come to reverse tabletop with the knees bent. Well, this time keep your legs straight. Lean back on your hands, press into your heels, and try to get the big toes here to touch 
the mats again. Press the toes down towards the floor. Lift your hips here up. Supercharge your legs. And then slowly lower down. And take your left knee. Place your left knee on top of your right knee. So again, that tight package here with your legs. Draw the heel close to your hip. Let both sit bones feel grounded. Inhale. Exhale. Fold over both legs. And really sink in to the back of your right leg. Hips are heavy. Knees should be feel heavy. And then you should feel the sensations here at the back of your right leg. Keep breathing. And inhale, slowly come up. And lift your left knee, get up. Place your left foot outside of your right knee. Catch your knee now with your right elbow. Look over your left shoulder like this. And then take the left fingertips here behind you. Raise your right arm to the outside of your left leg. And try to close the gap now between your left leg and your right side of your rib cage. And keep breathing. Slowly come out. Release the legs. Bring your bottom closer to the front of your mat. Inhale, float your arms up, puff your chest up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Come and lie down on your back. Draw your heels now a little bit closer towards your sit bones. Press your lower back here down. And check that you should be able to take on the back of your heels with your fingertips. And then inhale, lift your hips up. For your right shoulder and then your left shoulder here on the interlacial fingers, keep your feet parallel with your upper legs here parallel. From the hip points, rib points here towards each other. And then slowly lower all the way back down. And then press your lower back against the mat. Now coming back to bridge pose. So on the inhale, lift your hips up. Draw your right shoulder and left shoulder in under. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. And draw your right knee in towards your chest. Stretch your right leg up. Bend your knee. Keep your hips lifted. And lower your right foot down. Now draw your left knee in towards your chest. Stretch your left leg up. Bend your knee. And then lower your left foot down. And exhale, lower all the way back again to the mat. Take a few breaths here. Keeping the awareness in your legs and your feet. Repeat bridge pose, whatever bridge pose you want to do. Or come into a Vedanya Asana, you can really start with full expression on the back end. So take that hands here behind your shoulders, squeeze your elbows towards each other. So either set up the bridge or the wheel pose, and you inhale, set yourself up, and you exhale, lift the whole front side of your body here up towards the feet, ceiling. Keep your feet here parallel, then keep your upper legs here. Take one more breath here. And then slowly. Tuck the chin and lower all the way back down. And draw your knees here into your chest. And just gently rock out your lower back. Just a gentle rocking side to side. Pull out your lower back, connect to the base of your spine. We're coming to happy baby. So catch the soles here of your feet, stack your ankles here over your knees. The soles of your feet here to face the ceiling. Press the back of your head lightly against the mat and try not to lift your bum here too much. So keep drawing your lower back here to the floor. And then press your right foot into your right hand. Lengthen your right leg as much as you can without letting go of your foot. 
And then your right knee, lengthen out your left leg out, press the left foot into your hand, lengthen the leg in as much as you can without the lower of the foot, and then bend your right knee. And lengthen out both legs, both at the same time. Try not to take your um, lift your bum here, and keep both feet flexed. Take one breath here. And then bend your knees, draw both knees back into your chest, give yourself a tight squeeze, take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale, bows. And then keep your knees here together, drop both knees to the left, take your right arm here out to the side, keep the right shoulder close to the mat, just gentle recline twist here, trying to bring that center of equity bring back to your body. And slowly bring both knees back into your chest. Keep your knees here together, drop them over to the other side. And left shoulder space close to the mat, keep breathing. And slowly draw both knees back into your chest. Yourself that tight squeeze, big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Then come and lie down in Shavasana. Take up as much space as you like here. And again, noticing the support here on the floor and on the earth underneath. And allow yourself to take the support and really feel held. And notice your whole body being claimed by gravity. And notice the sensations here in your body. Notice sensations that feel unique, notice the familiar sensations. But really come to this deep knowing that right here, right now, is exactly where you need to be. Allowing yourself to fully feel at home here in your body. As we work to with grounding with the feet, with the legs, the root of our body, the chakra that's at the base of your spine, sits in the bowl of your pelvis. Is the color red? Associated with the roots, with new life, with grounding. Face of joy. Allowing yourself to fully land in your body.
And slowly start to come back into your body with your hands, fingers, feet, toes. If it feels good, maybe stretch out overhead. And draw one knee into your chest, draw the other knee into your chest, and just slowly roll to the right and just rest your face in the right of the arm. Stay here for a few breaths. Very slowly and more ready. Bring yourself up and come into a comfortable seat. Keep your eyes here closed, place your hands on your knees or in your lap, and just settle into your seat. You can notice the grounding of your body, notice the lifting of your spine. Feel yourself really connected to the earth. Heart here with your hands or hands in Punjali and Jay in front of your heart, and just lift your heart up to your hands, slightly tuck your chin here, bow your head here to your heart. So thank you for sharing your energy here with us this morning. May this practice here inspire your daily life. May we offer this practice to those and to where it is needed. The skin you shed here today, feed the soil around you. And you gently remind yourself to keep giving and not to give up. Now breathe in your own and breathe out. Peace. Take a big deep breath into your heart and your hands. Nice exhale out. From my heart to yours. When you are ready, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for joining again this morning. I um, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for, for joining me. Some of you are really here like every morning and I'm so grateful for that. Um, and thank you so much for your donations. Um, and if you haven't donated, details are on the Yard Yoga website. Uh, Lot is gonna be adding a new class on Wednesday evenings. If you have a preferred time, 7 or 7.30, just let us know because we're trying to work out what is the best time for everyone to join in the evening. Um, yes, hopefully see you again tomorrow or really soon. Thank you.